in the female infertility there may be a vaginal or cervical factors or there may be a uterine factor or there may be a tubal factor or there may be a ovarian factor or there may be a tubo peritoneal factor so if you take ovulation roughly around 30% of the causes are an ovulation and if there is an an ovulation then it has to be treated accordingly the tubal causes will be roughly around 20 to 40% and the uterine causes will be around 10% so based on this the treatment has to be directed simultaneously we also has to look at the male factor to take the decision what is the type of treatment which is necessary to be given to them for example if the tube is blocked patient goes in for either a surgery or goes for ivf but the tubes are open still when there is a very poor male count is there semen analysis shows very poor count that patient again goes for ivf